News coming in right now. Atik Ahmed's sister moves Supreme Court over murder of her brothers and family members. The police seeks a comprehensive inquiry by a committee headed by a retired Supreme Court judge or in the alternative by an independent agency into a campaign. What she calls of extrajudicial killings. A campaign of illegal extrajudicial killings are happening in Uttar Pradesh with the full support of the government, says Atik Ahmed's sister. Deaths of the petitioner's family members and other persons are connected. In fact, parts of a vicious, arbitrary and unlawful campaign by the government of Uttar Pradesh is what the petition says. Anisha Mathur is joining us on this. Anisha, give us more details about this petition which has been filed by slain gangster Atik Ahmed's sister. Well, yes, follow me. Atik Ahmed's sister Aisha Noor has moved the Supreme Court in a petition seeking an inquiry not only into the killing of her two brothers, but also the uh, other family members, including Arti Ahmed's son, who were killed in an encounter. Now, what she is saying are uh, three points, uh, particularly. One, that this kind of extrajudicial killings have the uh, support of the government of Uttar Pradesh, which is completely illegal. Secondly, that this uh, is being organized as a campaign of extrajudicial killings as part of a vendetta against her family. And thirdly, that the inquiry committees that have been set up by the government of Uttar Pradesh after the murder of Atik Ahmed on live television would not actually bring any justice because that will look at the culpability of the junior officers who were in charge at that point and, and in that space and will not look into the role played by the senior police officials who are in fact in charge of this entire, what she, I, beg your, <coughs> I beg your pardon, what she counts as a conspiracy of extrajudicial killings in Uttar Pradesh. So therefore, she has sought an inquiry either by a, a, a committee headed by a retired Supreme Court judge or an inquiry by the CBI or any other independent agency into what she is claiming to be a network and a conspiracy of extrajudicial killings in Uttar Pradesh. She's also pointed out the fact that the Supreme Court as well as the NHRC have on multiple occasions said that encounter killings are not correct and uh, are not lawful. And if, some, if an encounter has happened, then there has to be a proper inquiry of that as well and exactly what the circumstances were. And she is claiming that apart from Atik Ahmed's killing on live television, the uh, encounter deaths of her nephews and other persons are also not being probed properly. And uh, now we'll have to wait and see what the Supreme Court has to say about this petition because it has just been filed. We'll have to wait and see when it is actually taken up by the court with very serious allegations being raised by Atik Ahmed's sister Aisha Noor. Okay. Back to you. Anisha, thank you so much for joining us with all of those details. Anisha, they're tracking those developments in the Supreme Court.